we have got the new film fees. I hope these will be referred through to the Takapuna Devonport Board. Excellent, Chair Joe. Okay. Uh, we have got the Chair, Councillor Crum. Panel members were Councillor Ross and our AMSB member, Karen Wilson. Um, just while I'm at it, Glenn, thank you for your service in the last one. Okay, uh, and so, Councillor Denise. Thank you. It was a little bit of a change not seeing Glenn there. Make sure you come back. Um, it's my pleasure to present the recommendations of this particular hearing panel review of the film fees in the Auckland Film Protocol. Uh, I will also um, acknowledge, as the Mayor's just done, my um, fellow panellists, um, Councillor Ross Clough and um, IMSB member Wilson. Karen Wilson. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge Mike and Katie from Screen Auckland and Richard and Jasmine from the bylaw team, Andrea from Coms, from Coms and um, the presence, collaboration and particular attention paid by Mike Cohen from the Devonport Takapuna Local Board and Margie Watson from um, Pukki, oh, which, Albert, Albert Eden. Eden, Albert Eden, thank you. Um, so of note, those um, two particular local board uh, members came in and were very helpful in their um, contributions towards this review. Uh, legacy councils have operated independent mechanisms for determining appropriate fees for filming in public places on places such as parks, roads, footpaths. Uh, and we now have Screen Auckland, which is a name change. Screen Auckland operating as part of ATED. They're responsible for promoting Auckland as an attractive destination for filmmakers um, and issuing permits. And at the same time, what we're looking for here is the um, perfect balance between encouraging contributions of the film industry to our Auckland economy while making, uh, ensuring that they're mindful of the impact on local communities. Um, so there needs to be a balance between the two. Um, the code of conduct is asking for them to go the extra mile mm, sure. um, when they uh, deal with uh, local communities and the impacts that they may face. Uh, the amendments to the film protocol and film fees were consulted on using the special consultative procedure. Uh, so in May, um, we've heard the submissions from the public uh, and the proposed new fees will come into force on the 1st of November. So I'll just draw uh, my colleagues' attention to the main um, significant changes that this um, film protocol is suggesting. One is obviously the, the regionally consistent set of fees, um, an average increase of 20% in those fees, which um, by and large on the basis of what we've heard through submissions and our own analysis is very reasonable. Mm. Um, uh, name change from Film Auckland to Screen Auckland, housed within ATED, and then a reference to the Monga Authority um, and the the filming jurisdiction that they have now um, as part of this body of work going forward. Um, we also had quite significantly, as you would imagine, um, the contributions from local boards asking for us to look at the issue of recouping fees and redirecting back to local boards from where the filming has taken place. So we've addressed that in um, recommendation D, um, and then we've gone, uh, let me just make sure that was right, yep, um, D and E, and then in F, we've gone one step further to encourage Auckland Transport to consider doing the same thing. Uh, so that will be obviously uh, for them to look at, but um, they might want to and would be well suggested uh, to look at recouping um, the fees that are charged for filming on roads, berms, footpaths, um, to be directed back to individual local boards. Uh, so it is my um, pleasure to recommend that um, we pass the uh, resolutions A through G. Very good, and uh, so you'll move that. Is there a seconder? 
Councillor PNH will, and then Councillor Penny, you want to speak? Mr Mayor, I, um, I want to acknowledge the, the work that the, the panel have done, and I, I note with, with some interest the, the request that was then quite rightly sort of turned down that people had to carry this with them at all times. It's a fairly weighty tome, and I, I think um, the film industry is, is well versed in, in following good direction, and I think the way that the protocols have been brought together is a, is a good process. So I acknowledge the Chair for the excellent work done. Mr Mayor, I just want to make a couple of, of points points and you know the the genesis of much of the film industry that is is um, certainly been revitalized in the Auckland area now happened out out west and I just want to wave the flag for our West Auckland boards who are the ones who will also be they may not be noted here but they were the ones driving the initial request for the return of funds generated into local board areas so I just want to make sure that they're not lost in, in that discussion the discussion has been had over the last 18 years since Xena and Hercules first appeared on our on our mm -hmm. beaches and startled the people of Bethel's Tehinga with chariots and horses on the beach so we're now well versed in, in how this works out west and it's good to see the whole region um, enthusing around film. I guess, Mr Mayor, I just want us to, in the way that this is translated out to the community, we have to have the film protocol, but we also have to be film friendly and we have to message out there that we are open for business. This is a huge industry in the West. It goes unseen. You see the little um, plastic signs cryptically, you know, GS or, or um, OF and those of us, you know, some of us know what's being filmed where, um, and it is certainly for our community a big money earner. So, you know, let's message this out there that this isn't a whole set of onerous rules and regulations designed to make it difficult, it's designed to make it easier. Um, the last point I want to make, Mr Mayor, is that we need to acknowledge the film industry. They're one of the few industries that is utterly focused on leaving only footprints. And despite some of, there's always bad stories we hear, filmies know how to come in, move in, pack up and go. And we need to acknowledge that. And the film protocol has picked that up really well. And let's not forget that there are a huge number of our community, again, particularly out west, who have pioneered and who work in the film industry. It generates millions and millions in employment and community spend um, in those key areas. And for that, we need to be extraordinarily grateful to the film industry who've continued to stick with Auckland during the, the tough times. So I am very happy to second this. And again, I hope there's not going to be too much under packing and unpacking of what was an extraordinarily good piece of work done by a group that we delegated this to, and I think we should just accept their recommendations. Thank you. Very good. Um, any other comments, councillors? Uh, councillor Chris and then councillor Bill. Thank you. Can I just um, go to the F? The F looks a little bit weak the way it's worded at the moment, encourage Auckland Transport. Can we not at least change encourage to recommend? If we're going to make a recommendation, let's say it is a recommendation, and are we going to give them the opportunity to determine whether, or are we going to be a bit stronger than that and say recommend Auckland Transport work with Screen Auckland to d redirect film fees? Yeah. To actually do it, encourage, yeah. and get rid of encourage, that... recommend, and strike out <laughs> to determine whether to, and just leave it as redirect. That's I mean, that sounds like leadership from yeah. Councillor Denise, doesn't it? Yes, excellent. Understanding that Auckland Transport would be open to that conversation. So, excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Um, while the West may have um, been advocating for that, so was the board that I used to chair here and that Joe chairs now. And we've, Joe and I have been together asking for this since the day one of the new council came in. Um, and that's why you've seen the submissions. The panel seems quite strong submissions from the Devonport Takapuna Local Board, where we're we're hosted today, uh, and the key issue is the backdrops that our ratepayers pay for on a daily basis are the backdrops for Hollywood, for Bollywood, for uh, commercials that reach television screens and cinemas in Europe, all across the globe, and our backdrops are paid for by our ratepayers, by the citizens of Auckland, and they are very inexpensive backdrops. Um, we are the ones, and local boards particularly, are the ones through their budgets that are 
are required to maintain those backdrops. Uh, yes, they are the backdrops for daily life as well, but there is huge upside for the film companies. Yes, they bring us revenue into the city, but let's not underestimate what they could contribute and what they should fairly contribute going forward. At the moment, uh, there is a lot of disruption in communities like Devonport and Takapuna, sometimes on a daily basis where you've got five and six day shoots on streets. So I think this F is critical that we need to start rewarding local boards and local communities more directly by recompensing them for disruption and the good work they do in maintaining those backdrops. Okay, very good. Uh, Councillor Bill. Thank you, so just a quick question that concerns the Munga Authority and the volcanic cones. Um, the wording, well it's like an explanation of the wording, Does, will the Munga Authority have the ability to set its own fees? Yes. It will do, okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Okay, any other comments? Uh, just to say, councillors, that in the trade delegation going to LA, a third of it is film and animation. Our very best uh, film and animation. And what they're doing there is connecting up with a slightly sort of filmy type place called Hollywood, uh, plus also a new boom part of the film industry, China through Guangzhou. And um, the potential of uh, further engagement, further contracting and expanding our film industry here with contracts with those two big powerhouses is clear and evident. So really good contributions. Thank you, Councillor Penny for reminding us of the initial history of some of this work. Um, and it is in excess of $2 billion every year as an addition to our economic activity in Auckland. It is massive. So, um, very good. Uh, Councillor Denise, you have moved it. It's been seconded. All those in favour say aye. aye. It's against passed. All right. Now we move on to the new property maintenance and nuisance bylaw. The esteemed Councillor Cullen Penrose was the chair. 